Hello, YouTube friends and family. It's Michelle, and happy June. You know what that means. A whole new month of more grocery hauls. So, I'm coming to you today with a short and simple Walmart grocery haul. Today is actually June the 1st, so very first day of June. And we're starting out at our total being this month at $52.80. And I know you're thinking, $52.80 for what's sitting there? Well, what you don't see is a big bag of dog food. So, I had to get the fur baby some food. So, I already put it in their container that their dog food goes in. And um, as I was pouring it in the container, I was like, oh, no, I haven't filled my grocery haul yet. But it is what it is. I could have showed you the empty bag, but I went ahead and threw it away. So, yeah, I bought them a big bag of items, dog food. And that was like right at $30. So we're looking at really $22.80 sitting here on the counter, which still to me is quite expensive. But, you know, I got some chicken and I got french fries, which are golden. <laughs> and I don't mean they look golden. I mean, they should be um, trimmed in gold. <laughs> 24 karat gold. Because french fries are out of this world as far as price so anyway yeah that's what we got here i'm gonna show you. and i actually got the chicken on clearance uh, they had it marked down or whatever so yeah it's the thin cut bread or thin cut chicken breast so i'll show you what i got and let's get going and start this month off with a good old grocery haul so back here i actually went because i needed milk and i needed dog food so that's what i got but i also am planning on doing some late spring cleaning because it's almost summertime so um i need this i saw because i like to use that when i clean so i got this and then like i said i got these french fries that are golden <laughs> And I didn't mean goat. But anyway, I like these a lot. They're the, um, like, restaurant style. And my little niece and nephew are going to be coming over to visit. And they really like those with chicken tenders. So that's what we'll be having when they come over. So I have to take care of them, even if they are goaded. <laughs> so I got those. And then... I picked up some of the, more of these fruit grain bars. I'm really digging these things. Um, they're starting to become a, a staple in my hauls, as you can see. And I like to eat them for snacks. I also like to eat them for something quick and easy, um, like in the morning and stuff. Because I'm not much of a... I love breakfast foods, but I'm too lazy to fix breakfast. You know, <laughs> that's the way, you know, I'm going to be honest. So, because uh, I'm not a morning person. So, I like quick and easy things, usually. And a lot of times, I just don't even eat anything. But uh, my go-to was the Krispy Kreme Crullers. And I've said in the last couple of videos, I think, that I couldn't find them. But I was hoping that it wasn't that they discontinued them. Uh, that I could find them other places. Well, I did some research on Google, and I actually think that Walmart might have been the only place that carried them. And um, they said that they ran out of warehouse room because Walmart was bringing in other brands that they were collaborating with. And so they had to discontinue some brands, and that was one of them that got axed. And I can't believe that because... Um, I know a lot of times when I would go over there, they were sold out of them. So I know they sold well. Um, because a lot of times, like I said, when I would go, they'd be out of the Krispy Kreme products. So really sad that they got rid of them. I'm hoping that they bring something in that'll take their place, that'll be something similar. But I don't know what it could be. Um, you know, that's just something that's so different and stuff, so I just don't see another brand bringing in something that's comparable. And I don't even know if the brands that they're collaborating or anything like, you know, the breakfast foods or anything like that. It may be completely different kind of brands and stuff. But yeah, so 
If you're like me and you liked the Krispy Kreme crullers that came in the little packages, I'm not talking like the ones that come from actually Krispy Kreme. They came in like a box and it said Krispy Kreme on the outside and stuff. But, um, yeah, looks like they're not going to any longer carry those. So, really sad about that, but, you know, it is what it is. So, like I said, I got these, but I come home and I had a whole box of these that I'd just gotten. So, yeah, I'm going to have to lay off the fruit bars by them because I've got plenty here. So, I need to eat what I got and quit buying them. Because I'm always like, a lot of times when I go over there, they don't have any on the shelves. So, when I do see them, I feel like I have to buy a box. But, no, I don't need to buy a box because I've got several here right now. So... And I'm sure when my niece and nephew come over, and they'll be digging these too. So we might even send them home with some <laughs> just to get some of them out of here because I didn't know I had as many as I did. And then the last thing that I got was these thinly sliced chicken breast. And it's the Walmart brand. And as you can see, I did get them on Markdown. So that's why I picked those up. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked them up. But yeah, that is my haul, y'all. Um, I definitely will be making a trip to Sam's this month. I know I've said that the last couple of months, but my membership is now expired, so I do have to go renew it. And there's some things that I am needing from Sam's Club, so I definitely need to go there. And um, so that will be this month. So I know that's going to make my total quite high, especially when I'm starting out right now at $52 and some change. So... Yeah, I have a feeling this is not going to be an easy month on the wallet. <laughs> but the good thing is, is I've got lots of meat in the freezer. Uh, so I shouldn't need to buy a lot of meat. Um, I may buy some here and there if I catch good sales on it. But otherwise, no. And I did get some coupons in the mail the other day from Ruler. And I love to use those coupons, especially when they have good sales. And there's like four different coupons. And you have to use them in different time spans and stuff. And it's five off of $35. And at Ruler, if you can catch a good sale and then use a coupon like that, you can get some really, really good savings. So, um, I've already let one of them expire. It, well, actually, it expires in two days, I think. But I don't think I'm going to make it there within the next two days to use it. But the other three, yeah, I'll be using that. And I don't know that they really had a lot on sale this week anyway. So, um, you know, I'm not going to use it to buy a bunch of food that I already have. You know, now a lot of times if I catch stuff on sale that I don't have that I know that I can use in the future, I'll do that. But if it's stuff that I already have and I've got plenty of, no, I'm not going to overbuy. That's just silly. I've done that in the past and it's just wasteful, you know, and I don't like to waste food. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I certainly am going to try to make good use of those coupons. So, that's me rambling and I will be back with more grocery hauls and probably some what's for dinner uh videos as well so have a good one y'all we'll see you later bye bye hey youtube friends and family it's michelle and i am here today with a rather small ruler haul my total for today was 32 dollars and nine cents so if you add that to the already 52 dollars and 80 cents um, it brings my total to $84.89, so, and today is the 10th of June. So, I had a coupon from Roller that was actually expiring today, um, spend 35 get 5 off, and they had some really good sales, but unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that I was wanting, they were out of, so... I had to make do with what they had and kind of uh, tweak my little scenario of what I was going to get today. But I still think I did pretty good uh, considering I didn't get hamburger meat. So, and I got some, you know, Cheetos snacks and stuff, which is 
the big reason why I went. So, I think I did good for the $32.09 that I spent. So, I'm going to show you what I got real quick. Because I want to put these groceries up and get dinner started. Because I'm hungry. So, I'm almost out of almond milk. So, I bought another carton of that. Uh, like I said, I did get some hamburger meat. It's the 80-20. They have this on sale for three thirty-three dollars a pound. A lot of times they'll run at two ninety nine a pound, but, you know, still three thirty three is pretty good. And with the coupon, it, you know, helped me get up to that $35 quickly. So I got that. That's three pounds. Uh, they have their cheeses on sale, three for five dollars. And so me, I got five. So I should have got six. So I've gotten the cost but i do think that my ruler i think that they go ahead and give it to you even if you don't spend you know buy the whole amount you're supposed to buy so i think that's the way they do it anyway they used to so i got five so um i got some parmesan i was out of that actually i was out of all these cheeses um i got some pizza blend and that reminds me, that was the one thing I needed to take out with some pepperonis, and I forgot to pick those up. Darn it. Okay, well, we'll get those next time. Um, then I got some Cheddar Jack, so that's good. I got some of the Nacho Style, um, that's good for tacos, and then I got some of the Italian Style, so... Yeah, so like I said, I was completely out of all those cheeses. The only cheese that I have is the sharp cheddar, so that was a good deal. And then, there, like I said, the reason why I went is because they had their Cheetos on sale. Their Cheetos and their Fritos. It was 4 for $9, which is a good deal, but I was really wanting the crunchy Cheetos, and they were completely out of them. Uh, luckily, they did have three bags of the Cheetos Puffs, because those are my second favorite. Um, I like the Simply Cheddar, too, but I don't even think my ruler carries those, so they weren't on the sale. Because if those had been on the sale and they carried those, I would have had those. But they only had three bags, so I also ended up getting a bag of the Chili Cheese Fritos. I haven't had these in years, probably, so sounded kind of good and you know it might get me i think i ha well i have that can of wendy's um chili so i may actually make that one night and pour it over some fritos and put some cheese on there and uh some sour cream and make me like a little frito bowl so that sounds kind of good so yeah i got that but i really wish they'd had the crunchy cheetos they are my favorite but, anyway, they did have them, but they were, like, had the flaming Hot, and I don't want the flaming Hot, so. Yeah, but, anyway, I may try later in the, our, uh, next week, either Monday or Tuesday. I think the ad ends on Tuesday. I may try Monday or Tuesday to see if I can go back and find the crunchy ones, and if I can find those, I may just, if they have four bags, go ahead and just get four bags, because those are my favorites. Um. I also got another container of the Country Time Lemonade. Um, I still have a little bit left in one container right now, but I've been drinking the heck out of this stuff and adding strawberries to it. So, good stuff, especially for these hot summer days we're starting to have. Um, I got two cans of whole potatoes. I like to add those to... Um, green beans and stuff when I let them cook all day and stuff so I was completely out of those so I went ahead and bought two bags of those and then the last thing I bought was two packages of the Norse um, sides and I got the Spanish rice because I used my last package of that the other night when I had tacos so I just went ahead and picked up two packages of those to bring my total over the $35 that I needed. So, yeah, so like I said, $32.09, not too bad. Uh, probably be going to Walmart tomorrow, so that will probably be tacked on to this. If not, uh, it'll be earlier next week than when I go, and it may be a separate video. One way or the other, you'll see it, you know. But just wanted to hurry up and get this done. And hope y'all are having a great weekend, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube friends and family, it's Michelle, and I'm back today with a 
Walmart haul. I ended up spending $79 and four cents. So if you add that to my already total of $84.99, brings us to a grand total of $163.93. And that is as of today, which is June the 13th. So I needed some things from Walmart, and then I got a few things I'm going to incorporate in the next week or so, like salads and stuff. So I'm going to show you what my $79 and some change got me today. So first of all, I got some Hawaiian punch. Um, I got some coffee creamer, but I'm going to have to take that back because um, I got sugar free. And I'm no, I'm not going to like it, so I'm not going to open it and try it. So I'm just going to take it back and get regular French vanilla. Um, I did get some strawberries. The strawberries looked really good. I got some Brussels sprouts because roasted Brussels sprouts in the oven sounded really good. Like I said, I got some stuff for um, salads. So I got English cucumber. I got some Caesar salad. Um, just the uh, lettuce. And then I got some cauliflower and some broccoli to put in my salad because I like it now too. I got some little mini uh, red and yellow potatoes. I got a half a loaf of bread. Um, I got some of these uh, sirloin um, beef uh, patty things to make like um oh what is it i'm gonna make um philly six sandwiches yeah that's what i'm gonna make um i also got some pepperonis because i was out of those and i got some uh cream cheese i'm gonna make some chimichangas tonight, chicken chimichangas, and I needed some cream cheese for those, because I'm going to put them in the crock pot. I got some Caesar croutons to put in my salad. Um, then back here, I got some of these coffee cakes. I've never had them before, but I'm looking for something that's easy, quick for breakfast in the morning when I want something for breakfast, since they've quit making my Krispy Kreme coolers. Um, I thought I would try these and see how I like them. Oh, and I'm dropping things. Uh, okay. And I got some cottage cheese. I got a big thing of cottage cheese this time because it seems like I've been eating a lot of cottage cheese here lately because I do like it in my salads too. Um, I got some sour cream. I was completely out of sour cream and can't be without sour cream in this house. No, no, no. Um, I really like these, um, uh, ready pastas from Marilla. So, I got the penne and that's for salad as well. They're so easy. You just put them in the microwave for like 60, sec 60 seconds and boom, you've got instant pasta ready. So they're great for like, you know, something quick. And I thought a chicken Caesar salad sounded really good. So pasta salad. So this um, pasta for that. I did get some stir fry because I think I'm going to be making some of my stir fry rice here in the next few days. And I was completely out of that. I got a Mexican rice because I noticed, um, on my north sides, I like to keep the different rices and stuff, and I was out of the Mexican, so went ahead and picked that up. We got Jackson some pads for his belly band. I got some cheese. Uh, this is just the uh, Kobe and Monterey Jack. It's the, like, snack cheeses. They're individually wrapped, so I like those to eat with, like, those sausage sticks that I get, the beef sticks. So I need some more cheese. And then the last thing I got was some of these um, wax melts. And I'll show you which ones I got. That one there. This one smelled so good. So we'll try that one. 
Um, what about this one? I guess it would be better if I had it that way. <laughs> so we got that one there. That one. This one. I was just completely out of wax melts, so that's why I got quite a few here, because I like to have wax melts. I prefer these well over candles. That one. And then the last one I got was that one there. So, yeah. That there, guys, is what $79 and a little bit of coin will get you these days at Walmart. Not so great, huh? <laughs> Just doesn't seem like a lot there, but those wax melts, they add up. And they were like $2.22 a piece, I think. All of them except for one, and I think it was like a dollar or something. The rest of them were two twenty two. So those add up. But yeah, uh, that's it. So uh, I take that creamer back to get me some French vanilla. And we're good to go. So I'll be back. Probably next uh, video you'll see from me will be a Sam's haul. Because we're going to be going there soon. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's Michelle. And I'm here today with a quick haul. Um, I actually have two. One of them is from Walmart, which is the bigger of the two. And then I have a little bitty one from by low that I'm going to throw in. I actually did it a few days ago and forgot to film it, so I'm filming it in with this. So, let's see. My total was $163.93. I spent $6.53 at by low, which brought my total to $170.46. And then today at Walmart, I spent $63 and, uh, what is that, 17 cents. So it brought my total to $244.63 as of June the 22nd. Tomorrow is the 23rd, and I am going to Sam's Club, so expect a Sam's Club haul within the next day or two, probably. I'm not going to tackle that on to this. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to show you what I got to buy, though, first, because well, uh, it's very little, and it's over here, t uh, over here. So, I'm going to start it first, and then I'll come back around, and I'll show you what I got at Walmart. But um, the reason why I went to um, IGA was they had like they have they're starting to have like these freebie friday things and they had their simply lemonade as a freebie friday but by the time i got there they were out so they were substituting it for sunny d which i'm not a big fan of sunny d so i was kind of leery of what what kind to get and stuff but the kind that i got i actually like i've already opened it and you'll, as you'll see, it's already been opened, and I actually liked it. And also, they have their Cheetos, and they're like Fritos on sale, $2.25 a bag if you bought three. So, I uh, did that. So, that's the deal here. I bought two bags of Cheetos and one bag of cheese puffs. And then I actually got the orange pineapple in the Seti D. And it is really, really good. So you can taste the orange more than you can the pineapple, but there is still a hint of the pineapple in there. So it's really, really good. I, I like it. So it's something that I would actually buy. So that, again, is my IGA haul. Now we're going to start with my Walmart haul because I needed to go in there and get some essentials like milk and eggs so and then i bought a few other things for some dinners so i bought a half a gallon of milk i bought some orange juice with no pulp um if you uh, watched my previous walmart haul you'll know that i got the great value for vanilla and it was actually sugar-free so i took that back today 
and uh, they didn't have the great value, just regular, so I ended up getting uh, the, what is this, International Delight. I got that one in the French Vanilla. I got an 18 count of eggs. I'm going to be making some Philly steak sandwiches, so I got some buns for those. And then I might do, like, some um, chili cheese hot dogs or something like that with the remaining. Also, I'm going to make some smash burgers because I haven't done those for a while. So, I got some buns for those. I got some more strawberries to put in my lemonade. I got a bag of chips because I was out of chips. Um, I recently cleaned out my cupboards and... Um, I realized that I was out of these, and I like to have these on hand. As a matter of fact, I need these for the Philly steak sandwich, the uh, onion and mushroom. So I got a package of that, and then I just got a package of the onion soup mix. Um, also got a package of some iceberg lettuce, because I think I'm going to make a taco salad. So that sounds really good. I uh, got two cans of beef broth because I don't have any beef broth here on hand. I don't use it nearly like I do chicken broth, but I still like to have it on hand. So I got that. I got two cans of green beans. I don't know what it is with green beans at Walmart, but they're very sparse is what kind they have and stuff. So I ended up getting two can of the Libby's. I like to just get the great value brand, but they didn't have them. Um, then I got another container of cottage cheese. I've got a little bit left for the other one, but not much. So I like to have that on hand. Um, I got some Caesar salad because I'm almost out of that. I like to count, make sure I have that on hand for when I want a salad. I got some tartar sauce. I got this Better Than Bouillon, the roasted beef. I like to put that on when I make, like, beef and noodles or uh, when I make my roast and stuff like that. That's all for the food. And then for my doggy, he turns 15 years old on the 26th of this month. Oh, the poor old guy. <laughs> he's doing really well. He went for his annual physical the other day. The vet said he's really, really in good shape for his age. So he just keeps on keeping on with me. But anyway, old Jackson, he's going to be 15. So I bought him some treats for his birthday. Um, I got him some of these Rachel Ray, the burgers. He likes those a lot. And then he likes the little cookie things from the bakery. So I'm bought him some of those and yeah so that is my haul like i said i will be going to sam's club tomorrow for sure i keep saying that all the time but yeah definitely i was actually gonna go today but uh something come up uh, an emergency so we couldn't go so we are definitely going tomorrow so yeah that's my haul and i hope you enjoyed and hope everyone is enjoying the summer we just had our first day of summer yesterday, and um, here in southern Indiana, I can't really complain too much about the temperatures yet. It's not nearly as muggy and stuff as it usually is, so I can deal with the heat. It's the humidity, so it's been pretty nice, but, you know, we still got a couple more months of summer to go, so I'm sure we'll get hit with that humidity eventually. But anyway, that's all, y'all. We'll be back with more. Bye-bye.